Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Tina and today we are going to be working on a Bible character study. I thought I would uh, change things up a little bit and show you a little bit of what I do um, when I have a little bit of extra time. We just finished the book of Hosea in a Bible study group that I am in and I thought it would be um, a good idea for myself to wor run through one of these um, pages that I have. And Hosea's life was very interesting in the fact that it is a reflection of God's relationship with Israel. And um, it must have been very trying and at times very hard for Hosea to live the life that he did knowing that his wife was going to be the way that she was. And I think we can learn a lot from this in doing character studies from uh, people of the Bible. And it's good to reflect on these things and see how we might apply them to our day and time and to our lives and how we might relate them together. So when I'm doing these studies, you might ask, how do you know or where you get the information from? First and foremost, I get the information from my Bible as much as I can, from my Bible notes, from my Bible studies. Um, I have a couple of books here and the one you see towards the top is The Complete Guide to the Bible. And it's one of my favorite quick reference ones. Um, I will link everything I can down in the description box because some of these I absolutely love. I just don't know if I can find everything that I have because some of them are old. Um, my next favorite is the Bible Knowledge Commentary. I have both the Old Testament and the New Testament and these are my go-to's every single time. Um, they are quite pricey, but if you look on websites like Half Price Books, Textbooks Rush, things like that, um, you might have a chance at finding them at a deep discount. So that really helped because I did not pay full price for them. Um, the large one that you see is the Illustrated Dictionary and Concordance of the Bible. I do not know how old this book is. Um, I did get it secondhand, but it is full of rich and uh, meaningful information. It actually has a copyright date of 1986, if that tells you anything. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes um, when you're out at thrift stores, when you're at um, yard sales or estate sales um, especially. I have found so many things at estate sales as far as uh, books and references and the like. Um, so keep your eye out because you never know when you will run across something that might help you out. On the back side of my page I have how did God use this person and what can I learn and apply from this. And God used Hosea's life as a reflection of what Israel was doing and how he was trying to correct their ways. He was so patient and so great, uh, graceful that it's hard to wrap our minds around the um, blatant disregard and respect that they showed. But we all, most of us, have kids. So in that way we can kind of relate to that because it is a father-child relationship that, you know, we rebel and um, hurt our parents by our actions at times that we might not necessarily mean to. And sometimes we outright do it and that um, we have to live with the fact that we have purposely hurt this person. Um, and there is always consequence to our actions, good or bad, and that's what 
Israel had to learn, um, and he just wanted them to seek him out, and <clears throat> that's what we try to do daily. So, um, as far as what can I learn and apply from this, um, how do my actions affect others? How does God view my life? Is Am I done good or bad? Am I on the right path? How can I improve myself to be more faithful to God um, in my daily life? What can, what can I do? And then how would you feel if your spouse or child cheated or rejected you? And in that, we can reflect on how we have made God feel over the centuries. So um, I hope this was inspiring to you and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a comment and uh, let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up and I will see about possibly making this a series if you like it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.